Turns out it's next time. Shall I head straight into battle or fall back and take some time to repair myself? We fight these robots. This is a battle bot phaser. 104 health. Uh, weakest to explosive and acid and special move is a phaser blast. We've uh, seen that in action before. Critical hit 50%. Yikes. Okay, well. Let's see, what do I not want shooting me? Uh. Hmm. I thought I. I guess I didn't use the Aqua Pira twice on Josh. Oops. Or maybe I actually used it on Michelle. No, I guess I only used it once, huh? Oh, I can use these items. Ah? <laughs> I didn't think so. Shock. Uh, let's go ahead and shock you. Good. I can't eliminate you in time. We're gonna have to just work on the the robo ant. You're not so tough. You're not so tough, indeed. Spread shot there and did a total of 20 hit points worth of damage. Might have been better to uh, isolate that, but I knew this would be a guaranteed hit. And I was just counting on some mischance there to help me. Well, with that in mind, let's go ahead and start working on this battle bot gunner. Or continue, rather. Michelle should be able to finish the job here, or so I hope. Damn. Well, no worry about healing then. You never stood a chance. Good work, Rumi. Rumi gets hit for 12. She'll go ahead and heal herself. That won't be too problematic. We'll start working on this guy. 50% critical hit chance is a bit scary. I want to keep this focus on Michelle. I'm going to use Burst for her. And if she hits all those times, that'd be great. So that way she really gets that aggro to reduce the chances of someone else other than hers, given her high hit point count getting targeted. Uh, you... Well, heal yourself, as I noted. Good work. Joshua gets hit, despite me not planning for Joshua to get hit, because of course that happened. It's like... Well, Michelle has too much health there. Fuck your strategy. Go ahead and use the first aid kit on him. Let's try this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then finally, normal. Damn it, Rumi. Quit being blind already. <laughs> if you could stop being blind, that'd really be convenient. Uh, moving along here. Let's, uh, defend. Get some, uh, points back. Michelle should be able to take care of this. And final hit. And that's how it's done, boys. That's how it's done, boys. Good job. Great job, soldiers. Looks like the hangar zone is now clear of robots. Sweet. Any reason to go back here, but now we can go back to the science lab. Miles? Yes, we can. Yes, that's true. The robot attack damaged some important components, including some wrong run scanners that would really have to search for the prints. Oh. I guess you already said that, and I guess I was already turned down. Well, then fine. Well, the whole colony is now safe again. Cleaning up! I've managed to meet the deadline. The king will be pleased. Dur, 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 dur. Every hero except unavailable ones gained 100 experience points. Ruby leveled up again. Let's go ahead and increase her armor. And look between the two again. Eight fewer hit points. Significantly more sigh. Sigh. <laughs> I'm enjoying this whole not spending turns thing. 
Excellent. The king will at least be pleased to see that I am still quite good at picking the best of the- Ah! Suddenly a platoon of rebels appears as if from nowhere and immobilizes top music because of course it does. <laughs> Go ahead and heal up, uh, Michelle. Okay. And I want you to use this on him. I don't understand. Where did they come from? Look, they were using some sort of cloaking device. That's why we didn't see them. Uh, you must not... Uh, let them pass. Be like Gandalf. Don't worry, Tom. Nelson, I'll join your team and we'll repel them. Rebecca still is, uh, hazard damage and the missing psychic power projection or power. God damn it. Power. Points. So many P words. Anyway. Uh. These guys have shocking power. They'll stun ya. That's not cool. I don't want to deal with that. We'll see if we can get rid of them. Post haste. I don't want Joshua to really get aggro, so I'm not going to burst with him. You, I definitely want attention on you, given your high health count. And Ruby's not that bad for it either, with some levels under her belt. Soldier hacks and all. Good work. Your turn as well. You really didn't feel like, seemed like you did a whole lot there. And, uh, finally... Well... I feel as if we've just disappointed everyone at home. What a great, shameful display that was. Psionics! This power costs so much. It'd be a waste to use another old pirate and have, have only, uh... Four hit points left. A stiff breeze will be able to knock it aside. No one really needs to be healed. Go ahead and have you defend. Uh, you can't attack for sure. So let's go ahead and have you harm as well. And then you'd have 15 hit points, and then Joshua's would have worked out. Yeah! Alright, this is your chance. It's probably a stupid idea. Go for it! Get three hits! I think I only chose normal mode, so you only get two attacks? Yeah! Good work, Ruby. Then don't you be missing now. Or else I will have to say that Philip will have to be on the team instead of you. Don't disappoint me. Rumi takes all the damage, because of course Rumi does. She really gets smacked around. That's quite alright, I think. It's time to shock this rebel gunner over here. Good. Now, right, you're still stunned. We'll defend with you. You heal yourself. And just keep working. Good job, Rebecca. That'll earn her the wrath now. Quite all right. We'll be able to power through that just fine. Uh, you should be able to. No, you won't finish this off, but you'll get some uh, hits in. Why don't we have you heal Rebecca? You're going to completely fail me and disappoint me, because of course you are. <sighs> you lost the moment you met me. You lost the moment you met me. Is this gonna be my final team? Hmm. Wouldn't really be playing around those guardian options at all. No, would I? I'd miss out on Jacob, the psionic. Good old Philip. But, eh. Fits Joshua's personality and his desire to see everyone as attractive, and that's about it. Uh, start working on you now. Good work, Josh. 
Michelle? Need to attract some of that hatred back. Rebecca's got a lot of it. Alright. Rumi, uh, you'll heal Rebecca this time. And you... will just, uh, do a basic shot instead. Though they still very much hate you. Very much hate you. Uh, well, psionics on Rebecca. You going to work? You go and burst as well. And aim shot. Almost done. Pew 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 pew. Uh. Eh. <laughs> you can do this, Joshua. All right! You're a Winrar! Rumi's turn. Go ahead and heal Rebecca. And you still got a lot of hate on you, Rebecca, because of course you do. All right, you got a critical hit. Good job. Oh no, you confused Joshua! That totally was a waste of your turn or anything. Good work, abilities. Shouldn't have tried you. Woo! Experience points! Nelson, go inside and check that the king is okay. I'll take care of Tom. On my way. Yes? Ah, it's you, Nelson. Is everything alright, my lord? Yes, but we heard some noises outside. Oh, God damn it, I've changed his voice. Oh, sorry, the, uh... The, uh, the attack, it... And the stress over my son, it made me turn into old man Deckard King. Oh, sorry, let me, let me just grab back the king of humans. Uh, Nora and Mystique about me? Right, right, right. Yes, but we heard some noises outside. What happened? Before I can reply, a worried fox rushes in. There was a surprise attack and Lieutenant Schatz has been severely injured. Huh? Where is he now? I called in some android doctors and they've taken him to the hospital, but they said he won't be able to fight for a few days. Wow, that really happened fast. What? Why must this happen now? I'll take the command. No, I want Nelson to take command. What? But this is ridiculous. Nelson was- No, he still is a recruit. I know. That's why I still want you to supervise him. But when he was left in charge of a party, he did an outstanding job, is that correct? Well, yes, but I am not sure. Fox, I've read your profile. You're an excellent fighter, but you're not suited to lead such a delicate mission yourself. My husband is right. Rebecca, you're too impulsive, and when it's the life of my son at stake, we just can't afford to take chances. I understand. I will do my best to support Nelson. God, look at his stare. Truly a king. My lord. I will do everything I can to find your son. Thank you. Now I need to speak with you in private. I'll go check on the situation. Nelson, if you need me, I'll be in the training facility as always. Everyone leaves the room. It's just me standing in front of the king and queen. I can't believe it. Did you clear the colony of all enemies? Yes. The surveillance androids reported the situation is under control. However, we cannot ignore the possibility of future attacks. And what about the search, my son, Cliff? I hope you have made progress in the investigation as well. Well, not much. I first need to retrieve three missing pieces of the long-range scanner, so it will be operative again. Then with it, we should be able to track where the prince went. What are you waiting for? Go, then! If you need anything, come here again and talk to us. We'll try to assist you as best as we can. Thank you. I will do my best. Chapter 3. Search for the Prince. As I get out from the royal chambers, I see several familiar faces waiting for me. Michelle? Philip? Jacob? When you've finished calling names, listen to Bellamy. You know, Phil, the king himself gave command to me, so try to behave from now on. Ooh, I'm scared. Easy, guys. We have more important matters to attend to. As you know, Tom is going to need several days of rest. Several days, the doctor said. Little Rumi pops out from the group. I didn't even notice she was here until now. There's something wrong with Tom. 
Those rebels didn't use a standard shockwave. It was something more advanced. I can tell with my amazing uh, in-game reasons that allow me to see perfectly despite being blind. She uses the force, doesn't she? Son of a bitch. I use my psionic power to examine Tom's biosignals. He's been poisoned. Poison? Oh, no! Calm down. It's not a lethal poison. He won't die on us. They're right. It's not a deadly poison. Its effects are just nausea, tiredness, fever, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Just enough to prevent Tom from beating the army or going into battle. The problem is that the androids were unable to find a quick remedy for his condition. It might take weeks before he can fight again. What? Weeks? I think I know how to cure him quicker, but we'll need to find an... Expora. It's a rare plant that grows out in the wasteland. You won't know how to pronounce it. It's similar to a cactus with big red flowers. I've uploaded a photo to your PDA so you can recognize it yourself if you see it. Fifteen turn time limit. Alright, got it. We need someone like Tom back on the battlefield as soon as possible. We'll be keeping an eye out for this plant. He wants to speak with you before you leave for the wastelands. You should go see him. From now on, you can also rearrange your party from the inventory screen. A new button called Party will appear on the left side, and you can add or remove any available party members, as long as you're not in the middle of a combat. Oh boy! Well, let's go ahead and visit Tom in the hospital, because he wanted to speak to me. <laughs> also, change current party, I'm alone. Joshua's alone. <laughs> well, that means more experience for him, right? Ah, there they are, the new commander of the army. Rebecca, please. I'm going. Tom needs to rest, so don't push him too hard, understood? Yes. When you're done, come to the training facility. I'll explain to you how to do missions in the wasteland and manage your party. Understood. Forgive her, but... Try to understand. The king surprised me too when he gave you command of the army. I. I. Well, I don't think I really deserve this title, let's be honest. I haven't been here for very long. I was surprised as well. I appreciate your modesty. It's, it, it is an essential requirement to being a true leader. Tom looks tired. I should let him rest. Lieutenant, you look tired. If there isn't anything else, I'll be on my way. Rumi told me about the cure, but first find the prince. It has maximum priority. I'll do both, don't worry. And trust Fox. She can give you precious advice, especially for fighting in the wastelands. There, any encounter can be fatal. He fell asleep. Gerviv didn't properly read all those ellipses. I should go. I am on my own. I should visit Fox in the training facility to learn more about traveling in the wastelands. Well, let's do that then, because I'm on my own. Yes, you need something? I'm ready to explore the wastelands. Can you give me some tips? Of course, you wouldn't last a day out there without my suggestions. What is it you want to discuss? Uh, how do I use the hovercraft? You can take a hovercraft to reach any known location. Once there, you'll have to manually scan the map. Each movement you make will reveal more terrain. There's a full medic station on board, so just like in the barracks, you can spend one day to heal yourself and recover hit points and psionic points. Excellent. What is it you want to discuss? Uh, will I encounter many enemies out there? Yes, the wastelands are extremely dangerous. Even before this attack, scouts reported several groups of aliens wandering on the surface. So I could get attacked too. Yes, but you are relatively safe in your hovercraft. Well, in sight, you can typically spot enemies from a distance and maneuver around them. If you accidentally stumble into an enemy party, you can try to outrun them using the hovercraft's boosters. Will I always be able to escape from battle? Not always, but I'd say you have around a game mechanic 75% of... whatever. However, you need to monitor plutonium <laughs> All right, go on. Plutonium fuel? Yes, the hovercraft is self-powered, but every time you use the boosters, you will consume some plutonium fuel. If you run out, you can still travel the wastelands, but you will no longer be able to use the boosters to escape enemies. 
If that happens, I recommend you get back to the base to refuel as soon as possible. Every fight out there could be fatal. Fatal? Yes, in most situations, if you lose a fight, you'll also lose the game. This game is so meta and fourth wall breaking, man. You're shattering my immersion. That's pretty dangerous. I don't want to lose the game. What is it you want to discuss? How do I manage my party while in the wasteland? Everyone will be with you in the hovercraft, but only four members can take part in a battle because of reasons. Keep in mind, some members might be unavailable for some reason, like in this case, Shots and myself. And remember, survival skill is important in the wastelands. Several actions like searching for items, scouting enemies, or determining who attacks first will be based on survival skill. That's why it's always a good idea to carry a scout with you or train someone in that skill. Unfortunately for you, I need to stay here to watch over the colony. Oh, I need to start training someone else then. Let's just stop talking. Before going out to the wastelands, remember to ask Lucille about the exact locations of the supercomputer missing pieces. That's all. Good luck out there. Let's go do that. Ross? Uh, Sergeant Fox told me you need some help with the supercomputer? And you can't repair them? Not without the right replacement parts? Alright, where can we find them? That's the problem. A cargo ship sitting with no parts should have landed just a few hours ago. However, the recording show that was destroyed by some of the red ships just outside of the colony. And that means? That you have to venture outside the outpost to retrieve them. Hmm, sounds dangerous, but I have no choice, right? No, without them, we have no hope of restoring the supercomputers that can help us locate where Prince Cliff could have gone. Luckily, we were able to track the whereabouts of the missing parts. The explosion scattered them in sectors A1, C6, and B3. I've marked those locations on your map. Fix it. A1. This probably is jotted down my quest log. I have like a notepad open in case I need to take notes. Uh, in case it's not. Sectors A1, C6, B3. I guess I could have just checked it. This. No. <laughs> All these quests. Fifteen turns left. All right. Progress. We haven't failed any quests yet, anyone. Understood. Before a little, I suggest you talk with Lieutenant Shots and Fox if you're having a riddle. There are some rules you need to know when traveling outside the wasteland. Thanks. I'll prepare myself before going out there. Okay, those are the wasteland sectors. I don't have anyone in the group either, so it's worth keeping that in mind. I need nothing interesting. Hangar. Uh, landing pad. Uh, heaven forbid I annoy the king and queen royal chamber. Yes, what did you need, Nelson? Do you have any idea why Prince Cliff would leave with the alien? Of course not! What are you trying to say? Uh, nothing, I was just wondering. A son didn't leave by his own will, that's for sure. That alien must have played some trick on him. Alright, I'll get back to my task. It's about what I expected from that stupid question. Okay. Add you folks to the party! Woo, party! Uh, let's leave the barracks. Go back here. Change current party. Okay, looks like these are all eight possibilities. Bellamy is the lowest leveled of all of them. I've only fought in two battles with him. Looks like two guardians, two soldiers, two scouts, and two psionics. Huh. I wonder if that's intentional game design. Which ends up getting changed based on what jo what you end up picking for the main character. Like, say, if I end up picking... I don't know. Scout? If... Because there'd be one missing psionic. Maybe Rumi actually ends up being a psionic in that case. But then you have a missing soldier, so maybe Philip ends up being a soldier instead. Or if, say, I'm a guardian, then... Bellamy ends up being... Uh, a soldier, because Rumi would be a psionic. And then if I end up being a soldier as well, then Rumi just ends up being a psionic. We have uh, matches of each. 
I feel as if I have taken Rumi's job, and that's why she is the soldier psionic hybrid that she is. Which is interesting. Huh. Jacob, I could see, might very well be important for the group. Uh, except for the fact that I am a psionic. Because I am, well, then I'd have Rumi anyway. R Jacob's just smug because he has all kinds of science skills and shit. He's a science man. He's a man of science. Ah, uh, well, you two are unavailable, but it looks like I can recruit you later. Hmm. There's not going to be enough experience points to go around. The sooner I form a core party, the better off we'll be. To that effect, I'm thinking that I'll bring Michelle, Rumi, and Fel. Uh, which means I'll actually take you two out for the time being, and you can give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff, stuff, stuff. Give me your stuff. Oh, probably. I probably don't need to take that from you. I'll take it from you anyway. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. 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 <laughs> All right. Good work. Oh, I don't have anything to say to you. Let's go back to the barracks. Let's change our equipment here. Do we have any more items? We do not. Alright, I was hoping I'd get more items. We don't have any more armor either. Alright. Everything goes in here. We'll keep the uh, these items here for the time being. And it, it might pop up that another battle, like another group of like two battles with four people each. And so them not having equipment could pretty much sentence them to death, right? Let's hope that mechanic never happens again, he said, chuckling. Well, you might as well quit that. And... We did liquidate the... The cheap crap, huh? We did. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that happened, that was a thing. Well... You're a guardian. What kind of skills do you have, Bellamy? That's actually a good question. What skills do you have? Bell. Heavy weapons and energy weapons. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's not like I'd be using heavy weapons anyway and energy weapons and not really doing a whole lot with that. Yeah. 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 Alright. Bye, Lucille. Back to the barracks. Change equipment. You. Just weapons, please. Uh, something that's heavy. Like that. Oh, that's heavy, too. How do we look at this and compare it to other things? Like, I like the heavy assault rifle over this. Uh... Oh. I like these over that. Oh, the accuracy's less. 12 to 24 damage versus 21 to 30. Hmm. Just equip this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. That'll be fine. So that's their equipment taken care of, so they'll have weapons in case they get dragged to the battle, they just won't have armor. And you... Let's see here, this armor... Well, what you're wearing right now is that thing, so... Hmm. Interesting. It's not registering the fact that he has better armor options on. Of course, whatever. We'll stick with that. No need to change. Okay. Leave the barracks. Back here. Uh, I suppose I can take care of the rest of this off camera. I'll spare you folks that epic party sorting action.